Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my Witcher 3 Next Generation playthrough on the PlayStation 5. We're playing on Death March difficulty and this is the Blood and Wine DLC. Now we should be on part 16. Uh, what we're going to do today guys, we're going to do a contract called Bovine Blues. Listen, we're inching ever so slowly towards the end of this game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not ready to let it go, man. I'm not ready to stop playing this. Uh, there's plenty to do. You know, don't get me wrong. Got a lot to do still. Okay, capture the castle is a point of no return. So what that means is, once we commit to this, we're committed until the end of the main story. So we're already past halfway point, if you will. There's going to be some long quests after capture the castle. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not. It's not like you know you do it and it's it's over with within a few um, within an hour. It, it's going to be quite um, you know big episodes. Um, I'm also going to do the alternate ending as well. Um, so I'll do my preferred ending and then I will show maybe on another episode um, the alternative uh, ending. Anyway. So, things like this, the Gwent Tournament, I think I've already gone through this already, guys. We're going to do a drunk through. Um, this will be after the main story, because I still do not have all the cards, and I need more practice with the Skelliger deck anyway. So, I'm going to do a drunk through episode. Once I've op obtained every single Skelliger deck card, um, I'm just going to, yeah, just get drunk <laughs> and play, and challenge every single NPC. Um you know, in Toussaint, or re-challenge them, basically, you know, players that we've played before, we're just going to go around a circuit, we're going to be in Buclair, we're going to challenge everybody there, uh, all the nearby villages, etc., um, because I need to get good at Skelliger deck, because that tournament, guys, is no joke, <laughs> it's no joke, honestly, pretty difficult, especially when you're playing Gwent on hard difficulty, so anyway, I'm going to do this, now, it's going to open up another quest called um, I think it's called B Big Feet to Fill, I think. So um, that's going to be very similar. I don't think it's as, as long, but it's going to be very similar to Liam and Matilda's, um, you know, billions of little tasks we had to do. That that was like a three-hour episode, guys, honestly. <laughs> that was so long. But uh, a lot of running around, etc. So this is going to be similar. I'll try to tackle some of that in this episode. But anyway, the reason I'm here... The reason I'm here, let me show you where I am on the map. Uh, this thanks to uh, Ozzy, Ozzy Vamp. Thank you very much for the um, remark. I never saw this, but basically when we were doing Liam and Matilda's uh, quest, um, Wine Wars, Bell Guard, I missed some important treasure apparently. So I'm going to have a look at that now. Um, okay, it's near, you know, the Play Plagueman's Bridge. So if you go here to the abandoned side, we're already taking care of this. So just over here. So anyway, we're going to climb this now. I'm going to see what this is. So sorry, just quickly. Where That's the abandoned site. So this is where we killed all the archers, spores, etc. But I never saw this, right? There's a platform here. You can climb a ladder. I don't know what the treasure is. I hope it's good. <laughs> I'm sure it is. I mean, it has to be, right? Yeah, yeah, it's good. That's good. But there's more. There is more. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> um, Ozzy, maybe you got some different treasure on there, but um, ah, it's okay. No, no big deal. But hey, there's treasure there if you need it. Now, guys, here's what we're going to do before we do the contract. Um, I am going to... Do you remember when we went up here to get the marvellous Toussaint Steel Sword? The best Steel Sword in the game? I'm going to do these two question marks here. Um, in particular, I want to do this one here because this one is, I think it's like a village and an inn and it's been taken over by uh, Stragon, uh, Stragon and his men. Stragon is now dead, but there's unfinished business here. His men are still here. So I want to do this. Um, but what I'm going to do, guys, I'm still in my <laughs> Buclair doublet. So I'm going to go home, freshen up, get all my decoctions, and etc, etc. And let's uh, go to work. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause the recording. I'll see you guys very shortly. Hello, my friends, and we are back. Um, okay, I'm at the palace ruins where we took out the hands. But what the hell is this? Oh, the dogs. Oh, forget it. Okay. 
don't want to mess with them right now. <laughs> okay, let's go. So I'm fully all buffed up and everything, so let's do this, guys. Now, what is this, first of all? Oh, no! <laughs> I know what this is. There's going to be archer spores, I think. I think. Guys, there's no one here. What is going on here? Oh, whoa! Whoa! Hello! Okay. Right, we're going to fight some Kiki balls apparently. <laughs> so let's use Erendite on them. Oh my god! <laughs> Guys, the power. Unlimited power. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, is that it? There's, well, not much enemies, just those three. That's a bit strange. Anyway, let's loot up and... Um, this isn't actually why I'm here. It's really to get up to the other place. However, I've got a suspicion now that I think about it. This may be something to do with that um, Lebioda statue quest. Uh, the very long one I was telling you guys about. Okay, anyway, so that's all that loot. Why is this red? Give me a moment. Grab all of that first and then this one. Right, let's to a mother and check it out. Look look at this amazing loot. Okay, look. All all shall come, all and etc, etc. That is fantastic. Right, let's read this. Let's to a mother. Darling mother, forgive me for fleeing without saying a word. But you know if father learned my intentions, he would soon break my knees, then allow me to leave. You must understand, the life of a village scribbler is not for me. I do not want to end up like father, spending my entire life hunched over tomes and slowly losing my eyesight during days and nights spent in dark offices. I want to live a life of adventure. Perhaps one day I'll visit you, my darling mother. Meanwhile, may you know health and happiness. Your loving son, Fabrice. That's really nice. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, unfortunately, I think he died. So that's not very nice. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go up to that place. This... Uh, can, well, it's it can be difficult, but guys... Look, I don't see how we can lose. <laughs> I'm not being funny. I don't see how we can lose with... I mean, I guys, I have not even tried... Do you realise I've not even tried the two Toussaint's swords? What the hell? Hey! Hey! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, gosh. Okay. Um, 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 cursed one. Uh, did I take... Oh, wait, I need that. Okay, let's do it. Oh, you're kidding. Was it that easy? <laughs> Die. <laughs> okay, that's all done. Uh, where's your loot? Okay, there we go. Right, um, so we're fully charged up. What am I missing, though? Potion-wise. Anyway, let's put this away. Um, so here we go. Right, this is like an inn. I can't remember what the name of it is, but um, pretty big place, and there's a ton of Stragon's men. So uh, we'll take care of them. Yeah, that's it. The Silver Salamander. So this whole entire place has been taken over by these uh, dickheads. So we've got to sort this out. And guys, this is the first time we're going to try the Toussaint Steel Sword. I am freaking excited. And guys, there's another thing. Wait, wait, wait. I need to do something here. Right. Basically, um, as part of the manticore set if you have three pieces i never read this i just ignored it but if you look down below there it says critical hit chance and critical damage also applies to bombs now i don't really care about that but bombs are thrown without delay i didn't really notice so let me let me have a look at that now oh no why do i keep quitting up i've already got oh oh jeez what well, do that right um Geralt, do you want to maybe take a Right, let's try this out. Let me see. So without delay. Oh, wow, yeah! <laughs> awesome! Oh my god, and they're on fire! They're on fire, guys. That is amazing. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> you were saying, pal? Oh, crap. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Guys, um, listen, enemy scaling up, death march. As long as you've got the right equipment, the right loadout, 
the, the right skills. Nothing to worry about. <laughs> Look, there are fire as well, guys. This sword is sick. Look, I'm just gonna walk up. I'm gonna stroll up to them. Oh, by the way, do you like Geralt's haircut? I like it. I think it looks fantastic with this. Um... A billion blighted battles. Oh, <laughs> let birds death. Prick. Charge. Really? Do you're too slow. <laughs> oh my god, guys! I swiped him while he was floating in the air. <laughs> oh, you bitch! How dare you, uh, girl? <laughs> Oh my god, that is superb. Oh, okay, is that it? I thought, I'll... guys, I remember there being more. Okay, okay, that's fine. <laughs> that is awesome. If I'm not mistaken, I could be wrong. But I think we can play Gwent here as well. I'll have a look. Um, apparently, there's quite a bit of loot here as well. I can already see there's a ladder going upstairs. So, uh, yeah, we <laughs> did a good deed. We've ridden this area of uh, Stragon's Men. Uh, wait, it said X to collect something. Oh, maybe it was to talk to him. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, what else? Let's have a look. Okay, it's quite a large area, so uh, bear with me. You can skip all this if you want. It's not a problem. Uh, just have a look in the timestamps. Red dye. Definitely need that. You'll see why later. <laughs> okay. Anything else here? Not here. So I'm just going to do a bit of looting, guys. And I think the actual inn itself has a player for Gwent, Good if thanks. I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but we'll see. Okay, that's the ladder. But give me a moment. Let me loot up. Right, let's grab this. Grab oh, that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Jesus, excuse me. All right, there should be some loot here. Right, anything else? Right, here we go. Oh, plenty of loot up here, Jesus. I'm just trying to grab all their weapons, etc., so I can sell or dismantle. Uh, oh, what's happened here? Okay, check it out. There's... Thank you, mate. Thank you. Right, Speedy Eugene's Journal. Okay, if our fearless leader, Starling Stragon's go going to write everything down in his notebook, why, then I'll do the same. And I've plenty to write about, for the way we pillaged and plundered the Silver Salamander till it looked a pile of dank diarrhea <laughs> was positively epic. Whole hands had been fixing for ages to make a jaunt over to that tavern. For how long can you sit twiddling your thumbs at a place as foul as the ruins of Arthalac? Uh, water up to our ankles, fungus everywhere, and the wind blowing so fierce our bums pucker. <laughs> Why the dead dong diddle stick around? <laughs> so we didn't. We got our doo doo together and went to work. Guys, whoever this is. He sounds like Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> but anyway, hit them so hard before they figured out what was going on. Half of them had already been hacked apart. It was over in a flash. In fact, we got so carried away, not a living soul was to be seen when we were through. Though it seems a few managed to scatter into the woods, including that blasted Nilfgaardian owner. But we'll, we'll see two tracking down survivors later. Meanwhile, we'll drink a bit, sing a bit, and then head out for a good hunt. So there you go, my memoirs. Signed, me. Vice Head of the Hands, Speedy Eugene. Wow, not a very nice man. Anyway, let's grab this. Speedy, oh, I've already done that. What? I don't understand. We've already done that. Okay, fine, whatever, whatever. Right, let's grab all of this crap. Um, If I can get it, Jesus. Oh, here we go, here we go, right. Just so we can sell everything this man, so you never know. But what's more important we get lots of money. <laughs> okay, anything else? Okay, doesn't look like it. I'm going to go up here, guys, because there's a big tower. Honey. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, look, guys. Check it out. Orchard come. So I think, look, I'm not sure. I'll do a check off recording. 
I may be able to craft the uh, sign. Maybe two items, I think, from what I remember previously. Um, okay, what about this? No, nothing. Okay, interesting. It was just here, it, you know, out of the way, so I thought, let me check this out. All right, nothing here. Don't worry about it. Let's go this way then. So remember, skip ahead if you're not interested in the looting, etc. Not a problem. What is this? Nelson for the Revy of Duchy of Tucson. Oh, check it out! Matilda Vermentino and Liam Coronata have become the new owners of Belgard Vineyard, leading to the consolidation of the lands Vermentino, Coronata and Belgard. This new ownership status takes effect as of the date of this announcement. I'm really happy for them. <laughs> it would have, listen, it, again, it depends on your choices. If you want to make um, a quote-unquote bad choice, you can, sub to um, I lent you coin for wine. But you could actually blame <laughs> either Matilda or Liam Coronata, never knowing oh, it was uh, Count Crespi, who was actually up to no good, you know? There's an alternative there. And also, Renata Sulis, thanks for um, your comment. Apparently, you can... Um, I've not seen this myself, but apparently you can actually... Um, do all of the tasks, all of them, Liam and Matilda's, and the Count Crespi thing, if you know where to go. And then basically, you can actually go and see them, start the quest, and they'll be, you know, bickering, etc. But you can actually tell them, I've actually done everything. <laughs> so apparently there's some unique dialogue, but uh, I've not, I've not seen it myself yet. Sorry, I'm up on the roof because it looks like all these ladders. There may be some loot, but doesn't seem to be. That's bizarre. Oh, no, don't die. Okay. <laughs> if that was old school witch, I would be dead. How do I get up there, though? Oh, you're kidding me. Hold on, guys. Why would I put this here if it, if it led to nothing? Please, CDPR, don't make me waste my time. Please reward your players for being curious and exploring. Alright, so we're going to go here. Can you see those planks? Right, check it out. <laughs> Don't fall, Garrett, please. <laughs> oh, look at this gorgeous weather, man. Anyway, what is this? Please be something? No? Really? I don't believe this. I know there's a ladder below me as well after all that. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, um, nothing. There is absolutely sweet FA here. Nothing is here. Crawling on an empty stomach. Oof, dreadful. Yeah, nothing here. Um, God damn it, man. Anyway, hey, we found some ore shall come, so it's fine, I guess. Alright, let's leave it. Let's uh, go and check out the person that's here. Yes. A word might I have. Yeah, sure. What's up, buddy? Ad Ferien. Just what we needed. A witcher with stones of granite. That Bleder Hansa has terrorized this land too long. Thank you for your aid, Batgirl. <laughs> Very welcome. What a nice man. Okay. No, he doesn't play Gwen. An elf guardian a long way from home. And he's not a soldier. Don't see that often. Warfare did not appeal to me. My Vathair, however, meaning my father, he fought at Sodden Hill, survived despite a lung run through with a spear. What? And a right hand that went missing. Jesus. Yet the injuries meant he could no longer serve in the Impera Brigade. Here in Tucson, the climb and wine bolster healing, and a war pension paid in Nilfgaardian Florence buys much. An inn, for instance. I thank you, Witcher, for your aid, for recovering my patrimony. Ard Dank. <laughs> Very welcome. What a nice person. Okay. See what he Show sells. me what you're peddling, Nilf Guardian. Don't have to call him a Nilf Guardian. Jesus, Geralt. <laughs> All right. How much does he buy these for? Uh, yeah, God, I might as well sell these. Uh, this as well. Yeah, let's just clean him out, man. <laughs> just wipe him out. Okay, and finally, that and 
that. Okay, that's it. Zero money. <laughs> okay, there we go. Nice doing business with you. All right. Okay, let's have a look around real quick. Just do a quick scan and doesn't seem to be anything here and that's okay. No worries. Okay, guys, what I'm going to do, I'm going to um, sell some of this stuff. So again, I'm going to pause it. The reason I'm pausing it and not taking Roach, there's a lot to do. Um, I'm going to try my best to do at least the first half of the statue quest. Because it is pretty long. It is pretty long. Um, so we'll do that. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in a bit. I'll, I'll be as quick as I can. I'll be back shortly. Hello, my friends. I am back. Okay, so um, I sold all the swords, etc. And just stuff that I was weighing down my inventory. Check this out, though. Have a look at this. Okay, this is Geralt. <laughs> Looks weird, but anyway. Let it be known that the Witcher... Oh, sorry, brothers and sisters. Let it be known that the Witcher Geralt of Rivia has thrown off, has thrown off the prejudices of his guild and shown true respect for the laws of nature. He understands the importance of uh, to ecosystemical balance of preserving endangered species. Therefore, let us not remain in his debt. I call upon each member of our society to reduce his prices for the Witcher as much as possible. Solidarity with nature. Now, I like, I really like that. That's that's awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. So what we're gonna do now? I was going to pause it, but, you know, may as well join me. So, um, we've still got the Ancient Leshen decoction. Now, I rubbed um, Reginald's balls. <laughs> Remember in the last episode, I said, um, I'm not really sure what this buff will do for us now. Because, you know, simply because, um, uh, we've, we've already got unlimited running stamina. So what does this do? Well, I checked online and guys, apparently, I don't know how true this is because I've not tried it, but apparently it increases even more your stamina regen. And in fact, in fact, okay, what does this mean? Guys, I have a feeling that's already with Reginald's uh, balls, that's 50% stamina regen. I hope I'm not misreading that. Let me try something as well. Okay, I've just taken a tawny owl, guys. Oh, maybe it's capped. 60% guys. Guys, that's that's almost instant. And we're gonna use ancient lesson. Wow, okay, I'm excited. I'm excited. So we've got essentially free werewolf decoction. Because remember, well, you know, it still doesn't work for me. But werewolf decoction is still bugged. So, um, uh, but that's me on the PS5. I don't know about you guys if it's working for you. But um, not for me. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, go and check out this, um, this contract. Where are you, Roach? Okay, Roachy Poo, let's go this way. Hello, my friends. I am back. Okay, I do apologize. I had to reload the save because my internet bloody cut out. Bloody pissed, honestly. Anyway, uh, what is this? Oh, no, I've read this already. Matilda, etc. All right, I had to reload. Um, and what is this again? Where am I? So I've been gone away for a few minutes, so I don't remember. What. Right, flow by. Okay, okay, excellent. Uh, guys? Is this the merch that we can play Gwent with? Give me, sorry, give me a moment. I wonder what for. Hold on a second. Oh, hold on, yeah, this is the dude, I think. Not, not him, not him. Um, right, we haven't played Gwent. Well, look, since I've reloaded, etc. Dory, we're going to do bovine blues. Don't worry about that. But um, welcome, Snow White. <laughs> Wish to look over my goods. Oh, he doesn't play Gwen. God damn it. <laughs> Mind if I glance at your stuff? Oh my god, that's so annoying, guys. God damn it, I'm so pissed. Um, yeah, nothing. Okay. Ugh. See ya. <laughs> that's a wave. Well, have I gone into this inn and played Gwen? Oh god, I hope I've not, because that would be a bit of a waste. Give me a moment, guys. Since I'm here, you know. They say a witcher from the north is a hardened killer. He's locked off the head of many a king. No, I don't. No, we haven't played Gwent here, guys. What a lovely place. This is actually a really nice place. Sorry, I'm just having a look around. I like it. It's nice. 
I'm my own master with a bottle in front of me. It's no disaster, not like a front pull the bottom. <laughs> okay. Alright, um Hold on. Okay, Inky. Greetings, sir. What is it you need? Oh. Mm, had wine on my mind all day. What kind? <laughs> Red? White? Rose? Dry? Semi-dry? Sweet? How heavy? What appellation? Mm, I'll need to think about it. She's beautiful. Look at her eyes. Gorgeous eyes. Anyway. Tell me something about the area, would you? Hmm. What's there to tell? That the master of these lands, Monsieur de Bobo, is the greatest buffoon in all Tucson? Really? Hmm. Thanks. Keep an eye out in that case. Guys, I have played Gwen to her. I'll be, oh, no, I have played with her. Sorry, I played with her before. My way. See ya. Uh, look, Flovine, I'll remember that. Just in case, I'm going to check my previous recordings, uh, the previous episodes. But I'm pretty certain I have played Gwen to her before. So I do remember now. Anyway, sorry about that little detour, but uh, it's always worth checking. You never know, you know. Yes, and this is where I got the bear, uh, the earth sign uh, stuff. Right, here we go. Right, my memory's fresher now, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, I've played already. Okay. Anyway, let's uh, resume our journey. So, uh, anyway, I was, I was basically riding on Roach, and Roach is trapped behind some houses. Great. Roach, please. I need you. Okay, here we go, guys. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. <laughs> All right, so basically... Um, we just need to... No, not there! Stop it! God damn it, Roach. Jesus. Okay, turn. Yeah, so I was riding around here, and that's when the internet cut out. Bloody annoying. It, everything freezes, guys. Everything freezes. My uh, remote play freezes. I can continue playing. That's not the problem. It's just when um, you lose internet connection. I mean, it's not even losing connection. It, it sort of cuts out momentarily and switches back on. Yeah, yeah. But that faster, more or less faster. cuts out the internet on my end for uh, remote play and OBS. OBS is recording a frozen screen. Awesome. Check it out. So we've got a new marker here. So that's Idiot. great. Ha. So anyway, this place is um, a quarry. They're trying to build a big statue, but unfortunately, work has stopped. And we're going to find out why very shortly. So uh, let's go down here. There's stuff to loot here as well. There's also some enemies to fight down there somewhere. I don't remember where exactly. Um, also, just want to point out, there are ways of different ways of doing this quest you can actually um you see the creep wait anyway i'll, I'll shush <laughs> uh, i've sweat dripping down my bum furrow <laughs> <laughs> okay anyway so this is the dude we have to speak to foreman polizzo i didn't read hey it's arnie arnold schultzinger's back <laughs> what they call it blasting devils are you doing man what plague an unfortunate turn of offense that's all Get back to chiseling! If we don't deliver that hat on time, the infestor will twist my plums off! <laughs> Is that what you'll tell Emil's widow? That a cow crushed him and it was an accident? This, sir, is a grave matter. It requires a specialist, some mage or warlock. What happened here? Look! It's that witcher who's come to town! Maybe he can do something, an exorcism or the like. We should ask how much coin he'll want. Saw your notice. Got a problem with a cow? Fear a plague, is that it? Yes, indeed, and a horrid one at that. We've asked the gods something true we have. In Zeracania, they've sent a plague of locusts, then of frogs. With us, they skipped right to raining cows down on us. <laughs> Enough! Enough! No need to so panic! Come, Master Witcher, I shall divulge to you the matter at hand. Top-notch swords! <laughs> yes, an unfortunate matter indeed, to be crushed by a cow. A true shame, Emil. He was a good worker. I told them at once there had to be a simple explanation. But that lot... No. Right away they started in screaming, PLAGUE! Demanding higher wages for hardship. 
poor working conditions, you see? They ruin me, the blotters. Mm. My job is to figure out why a cow fell from the sky. That it? That too. The thing is, since none bother to clear the cow corpse, some filths overrun the other pit. We fear to venture there. Not surprised. Cow, where'd it come from? What kind was it? Why, the ordinary spotted kind. Nothing unusual. Its corpse rots in the other pit, sends out its stench, and a meal lies right beneath it. Will you tend to the matter, take on the contract? What exactly is going on here? Construction of a statue of the Prophet Lepiota. We're carving it. Not all at once, that is, but piece by piece. A pious infestus revived the project after years of neglect. He's engaged all nearby quarries in its completion. And we would be on schedule were it not for the incident. Please, Master, will you look into it? Okay, the accident, any witness it? Need to know more about this accident. Anyone actually see what happened? No, but sounds there were. Osterf had just gone to see how Emil was getting along when suddenly we heard an ear botching boom. Moments later, something smashed into one of the cranes. Doubt it was the cow that hit the crane. Probably true. At any rate, come morn, we ventured out to sea, but the vermin drove us off. With that, all work came to a halt. Has remained so since. Master, tarry no longer, please. Will you take on the matter? Uh, yeah, I was just about to say, but how much are you going to pay me, dude? Need to talk about my reward before I decide. Ah, time for a good hackle. Uh-oh. So how much would you take? Uh-oh. <laughs> he, he sounds like a bit of a tight bastard, so let's see. Let me push it to here. What? <laughs> you jest. <laughs> we mine stone here, not gold. <laughs> Shut up, dickhead. Okay, let's try... You okay. must go lower for it to make any sense to me. Okay, okay. Does this make sense to you? <laughs> mm. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, 350. Come on. It's a deal. 350. Don't be a dick. Don't be a dick now. Fine. Oh. But that is the sum total. No bonuses or gratuities on top. Understood. That is the bonus, you dickhead. Anyway. <laughs> Fine, I'll look into it. Might be a botched portal, but I doubt it. Lapiota reward you with progeny plenty. I shall keep an eye out for your return. Alright guys, so let's um investigate the clues, etc. But I just remembered something. I just remembered we may be able to play Gwent here, funnily enough. Um Yeah, there's a black sorry, I'm just thinking as Right, here we are. Look. Check it out. Hey, move, girl. <laughs> okay, there should be a dude upstairs. Let me go up there real quick. It's a blacksmith, and I have a suspicion he plays Gwent. Let me see if I can loot anything first. I'm really excited to try this Lebio... Oh, not Lebio... Uh, Reginald's balls is, um... A <laughs> buff. Stamina buff. Only here. Buy a full set of gear. Get a bottle of Fiorano free. <laughs> You don't look like a quarryman to me. That stand in the way of our doing business? No. It merely means I doubt you'll find anything of use here. I mainly stock goods for the men at the quarry. Hammer, spikes, hand cream. But if you want a glance, feel free. I shan't stop you. Oh, you kid Guys, you're kidding. <laughs> no, Gwent, really? Are you always this personable, or do you just get up on the wrong side of the bed this morning? I got up on the right side. I always do. My left leg's been lame ever since my accident. I worked here once, see? Breaking stone. Until a part of a rock face fell away and crushed my foot. Oof. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Feel foolish now. Not to worry. Such things are commonplace. Damn, part poor man. Every now and then, someone breaks something, twists an ankle, or their neck. Oh, God. Poor man. Um, okay. Yeah, it doesn't play great. Let's get out of here. Gotta go. Farewell. All right, dudes. Let's do this. Um, 
So we're going to check out some clues. It's telling me to go here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. All right, so it's telling me to go this way. Um, I think we have to go around the other side, and then we're going to find maybe some ghouls, I think. Oh, look, there's a notice board as well. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Okay, so notice board also. Let's go to Witcher's Senses real quick. That's weird. There should be some ghouls here. There they are. <laughs> Piece of shit. Okay, let's get all buffed up and ready. Um, Tawny Owl. And let's do Necrophage Oil, etc. Okay, that, that... That, that. <laughs> All right, I think that's enough. Okay, let's let's have a look. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna work, guys. I don't know. Uh, I'm talking about the stamina regen thing. No, this way. Shit. Oh god, damn it. Okay, let's do a sign. Already started in on it. Hope they didn't muck up the trap. Okay. Oh, very fast. Very fast. <laughs> this is amazing. He tried it. Do you know what, though? There is a bug. I have a feeling it's because of Blizzard. It's unintentional. But basically, Blizzard is also slowing my stamina regen. You see how fast that is, guys? Alongside the Ancient Lesson decoction as well. That's insane. Didn't even have to do anything. Bloody hell. <laughs> okay, that's the clues. But before we do that, let's grab this. Okay, if there's anything of note, I'll read it out to you. But otherwise, I'll leave it on the screen. You can pause it and I'll move on in a few seconds. Okay, merchants beware. Attention cripples. Uh, Ludovic Duchamp's obituary. Forest lovers beware. And finally, political philosopher seeks soccer. Okay. Right, undiscovered location. Let's have a look, guys. See how many question marks we got. There's one here. Wow, it's quite a few, actually. <laughs> quite a few. Look, guys, look. The thing is, I'm I'm not going to lie to you. I do feel sad. The game's almost over. And I'm not going to return to The Witcher until next year, probably. Um, But there's a lot to do. There is a lot to do. And that's a good thing. Remember, I'm going to do like a few clean up episodes, um, meaning we're going to hit every, you know, question mark, etc. But um, until then, let's enjoy this adventure. There's stuff in that cave, though. I'll check it out in a minute anyway. But what's this? Jesus. This must be a meal. Workers mentioned him. Poor guy. Unlucky as all hell. Right. Now, where do I start? Okay. Wounds on the worker's body. Crushed by something heavy. Skull base is cracked. Fresh tooth marks. Necrophages. But they got to him after his death. Won't learn anything else from the body. Okay. Tissues crushed in places. Must have fallen oh, quite Oh, God, that's horrible. Jeez. Okay. Bio wounds on a cow. Got sliced open. Hmm. Not much blood, so it happened after death. Heart had already stopped pumping. Tooth marks. Small ones, though. So necrophages left him clearly. Sure sniffed out their feast fast. Deep claw wounds. Spread between talons indicates a draconid. A wyvern, probably. But these wounds weren't the cause of death. Alright, I think we've done all of that, so let's see that. Got it. All clear now. Cow died when it fell from a great height. 
I reckon it must have dropped it. A youngster probably trying to get the cow back to its nest, but it proved too heavy. Emil's bad luck to be standing right underneath. And then there's the crane. Alright, so we will investigate a crane in just a minute. Let me just check what's in here. Because I think there might be some loot. Okay, here we go. I think. I don't know. <laughs> Remember, I haven't done this in two years, guys. So, <laughs> Alright, let's have a look. Yep, make sure you loot. Check it out. All chill comes. Nickel and silver. Alright, nice. Okay. Uh, Metro can break down and... Here we go. <laughs> Fist tech. <laughs> okay, I think that's it, I think. Okay, I'll put that away. Is there anything up there? No. Okay, we need to get up to this crane part here. I think. Oh, there's some stuff here. One sec, guys. Great. A whole box, oh uh, sorry, boxes and, and barrels and stuff, and I only get that. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. Oh no, I have to go up high, I think. <laughs> Clive, get up, please. Come on, you can make it. Alright, so we have to go all the way up. Let's go up this way then. I think it's here. Pretty certain it is. Yep, here we go, here we go. Blood. Dragon, it must have hit it pretty hard. Dropped the cow, then probably tried to steady its flight. Got hurt in the process. Good. Should be simple to track down. All right, here we go. Look, guys, I may as well just tell you, it's actually going to be a slizzard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read out, because I didn't read out the slizzard um, best sherry tea. Let's go to Draconids and slizzards. All right, here we go. It's not too long as well, which is great. Some peasants are, uh, once offered me a king's ransom to slay a slizzard, a damned hefty purse chock full of gold, but I turned them down. Coins no good if you're dead, and a slizzard, that's no fucking fork tail. <laughs> Zator, one of the Crimfer Reavers. That's one of my Gwent cards. Slizzards are often mistaken for wivens or fork tails. Yet, make no mistake, slizzards are nasty, terribly dangerous beasts, and confusing them for wivens will end very badly for the confuser. While a wiven can tear apart and devour an untrained man in seconds, only a slizzard can first bake him to a crisp with a waft of fiery breath. Yeah, they're pretty tough, they are pretty tough, but we should be okay with the setup we've got. So, odds, quen, etc. Okay, cool. Alright, so let's uh, track this down. Here we go, here we go. Check Traces it out. Of draconid blood. Barely perceptible. I'm on the right track. Okay, I need to start chugging potions again, guys. Okay, so let's just follow all these blobs. <laughs> and they do change direction, which is very annoying. But, um, hey, what can we do? I can't see. <laughs> right, here we go, here we go. Okay, here we go, here we go. Come on, come on. It's clearing up. What's clearing up? It's always been clear. Geralt, stop it. <laughs> Wait, what's that? It's a very big blob here. Okay, here. Started bleeding heavily. Wound was more serious than I thought, looks like. Okay. Right, I think there's going to be devourers or rot fiends up here. Oh crap, okay, here we go, here we go. I can't see that freaking bush going away. Oh god, get out of there, Jesus. Uh, just for my um, toxicity, let's take a black blood. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> All right, there we go. There we go. Is there more? Okay, doesn't look like it. All right, so let's investigate this area. 
Uh, what are you doing, Geralt? <laughs> okay, let's see what this is about. Landed on the roof of the distillery. Raised a ruckus, made a mess, then moved on. Pear. <laughs> oh, pears are actually nice. I like them. Very tasty. Okay, here we go. All right, must be other this. Yeah, well, oh, I'll read that in a sec. Let's just get all the yellow stuff out of the way. I think that's it. Let's like this. <laughs> just for the hell of it. Okay, what's that? Bootlegger's notes. So, I say to that, Minister Tremblay, the whole San Sretor Valley is overrated. Those wines, why, don't get me started on SS. Ever since they started mass producing it, they call it a tat etat or ete ete for it's definitely seen better days then he says right you are all has been a coat de bless you, chap myself in fact between you and me i even prefer it to sangreal you know the wine reserved for her illustrious highness and her inner circle and then the full lamb i blurt out oh i agree whenever her grace has me taste it i've got to swell my mouth out with vodka afterwards to wash out that rancid taste oh come on i was drunk wasn't i talking out of my bum <laughs> well turns out i had rather overvalued my position at court Tremblay needed but say a word to the duchess oh dear duchess's ear and in three shakes of a donkey's tail i was out on the street Oh dear, idiot. The job of ducal tasters been given back to Benoit. Can you believe it? After that scandal involving Baroness Neek and Quilleen? As for me, well, what was I supposed to do? I had no choice but to start making and drinking my own brews. That's always been my true passion. Oh dear. And he died. <laughs> All right, cool. So let's... um. Hello, my friends. I'm so sorry about this. I had to reload this save. And um, what happened was I actually got quite... not Well, not far. I was uh, following its trail. And internet cut out again. So I had to... This is the nearest reload. So uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> I'll just loot this all again. Just be a second. I'll show you where I got up to as well. You didn't miss much anyway. I was just literally... Ah, uh, come on. Get this. Okay, uh, oh, loot again, really? Pear, <laughs> more pear. Okay, we've already read this, so, um, so we've already done that. Now, where did I get to? Not those bits. Crawled through here, clearly too tired to fly. Okay, it was around about here, I think, and then the internet cut out. But anyway, so we're following this. It was in a bad way, barely crawling. Okay. Alright, here we go. There we go. Here we go. Mm, second Draconid landed here. A larger one. Waited for the smaller one to heal. Then they flew off together. Should be easy to track. Smaller one was still bleeding, luckily. That's really heartwarming, actually. <laughs> so, the other one came to help it, and um, if it didn't intervene, this one would have died, basically. Oh, anyway, right, let's um, see who says monsters don't have feelings. <laughs> right, let's keep... Together. Probably bound for their nest. All right, anyway, let's keep going. Uh, dead cow. Huh, another cow. Been here longer, this one. Lots. What do we got here? Burn marks? Hmm. No wyvern made these. Slizzards. Gotta be. Only they breathe fire. Clearly feel safe here. Mm. All right. Trail ends here. Nests up there. I bet the farm on it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, also, there's a place of power in this area as well, I think. What's that noise, guys? Oh, God, insectoids. <laughs> Alright, so what we're going to do, um, we better put some track in it. I do remember this being quite tough, you know. I do remember it being quite tough. And I do they poison? Do I need poison? Alright, let's do that. <laughs> let's see what happens. Oh, I don't have blizzard. God damn it, man. 
Ah, oh, shit. Oh, you're kidding me. Guys, I don't have the buffs I want, and I don't have my healing as well. Okay, now we, now we do. We're, we're good, we're good. Right, where's the place of power? It might be on the other side. This is like a ruin. Um, a castle or something. I don't know what it was, but... Okay, I'll explain the alternative uh, method of doing this um, afterwards. Right, here we go. Got a marker. Fantastic. All right, guys. I wouldn't underestimate these things. Wait, did I put Dracon in? I'm so sorry. Give me a sec. And let me do some grape shots as well. I don't think... I don't think Northern Wind worked. So it was Mommy who helped you. I don't believe this. Girl, seriously, screw you. Oh, really? Slizzard's son seems to be joining the first. Slizzard's son? Oh, crap! Oh, no, don't use fire against a fire monster. Jesus. Oh, don't do that. Come on. No! And die. I pressed that by accident, guys. Oh, Jesus! Uh... Whoa! 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 Oh, no, my toxicity's too high. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. Oh, guys, what the hell was that? Okay, just took a potion. I'm full toxicity. Oh, my God, this one's really tough! Jesus! Uh, yeah, I have to say, uh, by the way, the stamina regen is amazing. Wait, wait. Okay, okay. Oh my god. Whoa, the damage. Guys, be careful when fighting these things. Right. High time I collected a trophy. Rest of the eggs haven't hatched yet. I need to burn <laughs> the whole nest. Wow. Uh, guys, yeah, don't underestimate them. They're bloody tough. They are bloody tough. I'm taking quite a bit of damage. Um, wait, give us a second. Oh, no, I've taken that. Out. No, 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 no. Put that back in. Sorry, give me a sec, guys. Uh, let's remove something else. It's only temporary. I'm not going to be long. Not even delay recovery. Not even acquire torrents. Just get rid of that. I'll put that back in. God damn it. That was shocking damage they were doing. Okay, let's do that. Come on, come on. And we should be good now. Awesome. Okay. So fast metabolism. Oh, no. I don't want to take that out. Jesus Christ. Okay. So fast metabolism in case you need to lower toxicity very quick. Okay. What did I have? It was this, wasn't it? Wow, guys. Sorry. I was shocked. I thought, yeah, it's, it's actually quite easy. You know, the uh, matriarch or whatever. Um, sorry. Did I read that out to you guys? Give me, give me a moment. I'm trying to, I'm trying to stay on top of these. <laughs> so, all right, here we go. Slizzard matriarchs. If you ever find yourself facing a monster that breathes fire, strikes with a tail tipped with venomous spines, bites with sharp teeth, and swipes with even sharper claws, and tends to knock its prey to the ground with a sonic blast, then you are fighting a slizzard. With an arsenal like that, it comes as no surprise folk often mistake these draconids for dragons. Yet the experts, meaning witches, know slizzards constitute an entirely separate species, much smaller than dragons and far less dangerous. With one exception, slizzard females in mating season, or even worse, just after laying their eggs. When fighting such individuals, my suggestion is to get as far as possible from the danger as quickly as possible. Preferably by running at <laughs> full tilt without looking back. <laughs> uh, yeah, good advice. Good advice. Uh, guys, these things were tough. Bloody hell. Um, oh, where's the trophy? Uh, by the way, um, how do I explain this to you guys? Um, there's uh, two alternatives. Right, the eggs. I don't have to burn them yet. Leave it the way it is. And, okay, there's also a hand space. Uh, well kind of nearby i don't remember where but in this area or maybe it's here it could be this one that could be the hand space now if you haven't done this yet and you come back here 
and remember provided you've not um destroyed the eggs there's going to be bandits here from that hands and they actually collect slizzard uh, eggs to make um scrambled slizzard eggs <laughs> right i know it sounds a bit weird but um it, it's just an option if you want i mean it's just for extra dialogue you gotta kill the bandits obviously um etc another alternative is if you come here without seeing the contract issuer so you come here first destroy the nest destroy the eggs etc etc and then see the dude slightly different dialogue as well so that's all really nothing nothing major now guys i swear there was is it this we haven't looted the um the matriarch right sorry give me a moment i do apologize for this running about this isn't it man where's the other slizzard I'm confused, guys. I'm so confused. Is it this one? Yeah, this one. Jesus. Oh, my God. Yes, do this contract because you get a greater red uh, and a sword so we can sell or dismantle. But anyway, that's ours now. All right, but we need to... Let's have a look around. Let me just have a look around. Might be stuff here. Well, there you go. Stuff there. Oh, guys, check it out. What's this? Oh, you're kidding. So this is the Griffin. Oh, my God. I can't believe it. Okay, steel sword, gauntlets, and boots. Listen... Listen, I'm trying my best to do uh, saying etc etc, but I really want to do a griffin build. I really do. I doubt it will be possible, but I'll try. Captain Augustus Fira Bras reports the witch I summoned reached Ursa in on the 12th of September. He made a favourable impression. I had expected a cold killer, yet found myself speaking with someone who could easily be mistaken for a normal man. If not for his expensive knowledge concerning the habits of monsters, the two swords on his back and a griffin head medallion on his chest. Jerome, as he was called, asked me a great many questions about the beast seen near Mont Crane Castle. Based on my responses, he concluded the monster in question was a lesson. During our next conversation, the witch expressed his astonishment at being offered such a high reward, and once paid in advance um, before he even arrived into song. I had taken a liking to the fellow and wanted to be honest with him. Despite the vow I had shown, I revealed his pay came entirely from a certain Moreau. Remember, guys? A mage who had decided to use his, this gift to thank our community for a warm welcome. When Jerome heard the mage's name, he first went pale, then flew into a rage. He shouted, and I quote... Gonna give that old bastard a piece of my mind. <laughs> then ran to the stables, mounted his steed and rode off, leaving the greater part of his possessions behind. He was seen on the on the road to Montcrane, but then disappeared. Like a rock thrown in deep water. Master Moreau claims he never saw the Witcher. Alright guys, this is a great story in, in and of itself, but because I haven't been looking for the... I know what happened at Montcrane. Mon Cran. I said that wrong. Okay, it's not Mon Crane. Mon Cran. Um, so the story is excellent. It's it's very um, it's a bit sad as well. And if you guys ever wondered what happened to Jero uh, Jerome, well, we can actually find out um, by doing the the Griffin School uh, treasure hunt. But anyway, enough about that. What I'm going to do now? We're going to destroy the eggs, which are <laughs> God. Where are they? Jesus. That's a slizzard. Oh my god, I'm getting lost here, guys. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's here. Alright. So, we're going to destroy this. Um, how, how do we do it, though? Destroy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> that actually scared me a bit. Right, we need to grab the place of power as well. Alright, let's loot. Okay, I'll grab that. Don't need a skull. And dragon scales. All right, so that's destroyed the eggs. Um, how do we get down to this place of power, though? All right, guys, I've got to find it. I just don't remember. It's been two years. 
Gotta find it. Oh my god. Okay, let me try the other side. Let me try the other side. Oh, cave, cave, cave. Here we go. So look for the cave symbol. Oh god. Oh god. Um. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> Okay, let's um, let's be safe about this. Let's go this way. <laughs> Jesus, bloody hell! Anyway, <laughs> God damn. It. All right, there we go. Yeah, so like I was saying, do not underestimate these um slizzards. They are pretty bloody tough, man. They hit so hard. Um, actually, it wasn't even the matriarch that was doing the most damage. It was the um. The one that was wounded, which is very unusual, actually. Oh, for God's sake, I'm getting lost. Oh, my God. Where the hell is this place? What? Up? I don't understand. What? What? I don't get it, guys. Unless it's... Here? No, no, no. Climb up, please. Here we go. Right. It's a little bit, yeah, a bit complicated to get to, but just keep looking. You'll find it. So there's your place of power. Mm, magic. A place of power. All right. All right. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that's another ability point. I st oh, guys, it's a bit depressing to say this, but I still need two more ability points. I just don't have enough uh, for the... Um, metamorphosis um mutation that's the only one i want to try i'm not really interested in anything else look do not get me wrong oh jesus do not get me wrong i'm still loving the alchemy setup i've got with um uh euphoria i love it i think it's fantastic i just want to try something different you know so um metamorphosis seems pretty decent we'll see it may not be i don't know it might be shit all right guys give me a moment let's uh Go back to the dude. Alright, let me follow the white dots and I'm hoping it's not going to keep changing directions. Okay, it's telling me to go down here. Oh, can you make Roach? Roach, please. Now run. Fast. Oh, God. <laughs> Guys, sometimes... Oh, anyway, I love Roach to bits, but sometimes... All right, guys, I'm just going to go on foot. <laughs> I can't be bothered. I'm so sorry. I can't be bothered. Okay, now there's Rhodes. Let's call Roach. Okay, Roach, do you want to try again? Give me it all. Okay, good girl. Good girl. All right, so we're on our way back to the quarry. Bloody hell, those... I've got to watch the footage back, but... Jesus. The amount of health I was losing from... Um, the slizzards. Bloody hell. Alright, here we go. Now run. Oh, no. What's it... Uh, what's it doing now? Jeez, the white dots, I mean. Alright, this way. I think we're here. We are, we are, good. Okay, we need to go below. Okay, we don't need you, Roach, for the moment. <laughs> Alright. Alright, let's go this way. And here we go. Oi, bitch. Well, have you learned how that cow came to fly? Yeah, you can get back to work. And it wasn't a plague of falling cows. Did I not say so from the start? A weight off my chest. So what was behind the animal's plummet? Young slizzard flying over the quarry dropped it. Was trying to get it back to its nest. Food for its mother and siblings. Oh. <laughs> Probably heard the last of the beasts. Burned the nest, eggs, everything. A praiseworthy precaution, but as I said, I can only pay you what we agreed. I simply haven't any more. Here, take this. And I thank you, Master. 
but there's more. <laughs> Cleared up now, right? No gods, no plague, just a dragon, but it's gone too. We're to pay Emil's widow compensation, and that will be that. So, why do you still stand there and wait, men? Back to work, job, job. And I've a notion suspicious workings are still afoot. What became of the builders who were to put the statue together? They were due three days back, yet there's still no sign of them at Ardesto. They were crushed too, I'm certain of it. <laughs> or eaten, or, or locusts got them, like in Zeregania. What's this rubbish you spout now? The architect wrote they would arrive a week late with a large shipment of marble from Metana for the Prophet's beard. <laughs> so stop flapping your yaps and get to work. Looks a bit like that laugh. <laughs> Allow me to walk you away, Master. Truth be told, I lied. But I cannot have them panic again. The workers he mentioned, they've indeed vanished. Come see me later, I shall divulge to you the details. Right, where is he though? Okay, so that completes that. The contract is done. Contract is done. Um, guys, yeah, I swear by the uh, Reginald Balls thing. Make sure you do it because it, it really is 50% extra stamina plus your Griffin School techniques plus your Tawny Owl. It's great. Ancient Lesson Decoction, etc. Anyway, let's talk to this dude. So, Master, the workers who vanished, how goes the search? What do you mean? You haven't even talked. What? Uh, we've done this, haven't we? Anyway. They vanished. What's that mean? Just that. Along with ample supplies. I had placed an order. More than a dozen wagons reached the building site, yet five were lost along the way. Tools, food, building materials, and first and foremost, the specialists we need. The chief architect included. I wrote to the architect to say the quarry awaits. He should send new plans. But the foreman said the architect was here, at Ardaizo. And this means... He's missing too. Got it. I'll look around, see what I can learn. Master, I know not how to thank you, but I beg you to hurry. We shall simply not finish without those five wagons. Uh, oh, that's not too bad. I thought it was going to be millions of quests, but there's only four left. Um, okay, we're not going to do that today, guys, but we are going to do something before we finish up. The book of lust is hard and girthy. No one can grip the damn thing. <laughs> I was trying to listen to our song. But anyway, um, I'm trying to find the fast trial points. So anyway, let me mark that just in case. Oh, the only thing I hate about this place, guys, the quarry. Oh, it's, it's like spaghetti <laughs> trying to, um, trying to, you know, traverse it. It's a bit bloody annoying. Okay, here we go. Right. Now, give me a sec. Let me just think to myself. Where was it again? Give me a moment, guys. Yes, yes, that's right. Now I remember. Okay, so we've got to do... Um, okay, hang on. Let me just get there first. Okay, give me a moment. Let's go this way. Dora, I'll explain. We're going to play Gwent, but... Um, all right, we need to go this way. I think. <laughs> I think it's this way. Keep calm. Start no brawls. Uh, is it this one? Right, do you remember this blacksmith? This is a good few episodes ago. I couldn't even tell you which one, guys. But um, this was part of the quest, or a, a very small contract we had to carry out. Uh, two ghosts. <laughs> they weren't getting along. And, um, you know, the urn, etc. Anyway, this is the dude, Trentin. So now we're going to play Gwent for him, but properly. The best steel in all of Tusa. Take a gander. Okay. Uh, what? 
Oh, guys, I give you my word you can play Gwent with him again to win a card. I don't know what the hell is going on. It That, that is bizarre. Farewell. Jesus. No, okay, later. never mind. Don't worry. Plan B. We got plan B. Don't worry about it. Gosh, I have not been having any luck <laughs> with that. <laughs> People to pet Gwen. It's ridiculous. Let me just Stop check. I wish Gareth was done. Oh, what? What have I done now? Oh, you're life. kidding, guys. Guys, you're kidding. Oh, sorry. Let me read this. The Witcher Geralt. Um, anyway, to all members of the Tussar Men Merchants Guild, the Witcher Geralt of Rivia has done serious wrong to the governors of the Cooper's Guild. As a person harmful to our interests, he has forfeited all rights, all rights to discounts, rebates, and special offers. In truth, he deserves a full boycott. Yet, since coin remains coin, we must serve him. At least let him feel how much it hurts to cross our guild. Make him weep as he opens his pouch. <laughs> uh, well, it's working. I am weeping because that's uh, sad. Okay, this, this is going to be a quest, but not now. Right, where is this dude? Okay, here's our plan B. The best armor around. That is what I forge. Oh, so sudden. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see what he sells. Mm, what have you got there? You know, diagrams, etc., etc. Let's have a look. Oh, look, he sells that. Oh my god, he's go up to bloody level 48. I can't believe it. Um, yeah, guys, I was considering I was going to go back to the light armor. That, what's that? Oh, that looks pretty decent. Okay, anyway, whatever. Any diagrams or anything? No. Um, let's repair real quick while I'm here. And um, yeah, I'll check on our sword later on. Let's play a, a game of Gwent. I don't know what he is. I can't remember, Up but um, Gwent. remember, I'm going to re-challenge all of these players, all of them. I'm going to challenge all of them again uh, after the main story, before the tournament, as practice, you know, training, etc. And um, it's going to be a drunk through, so we're going to have some fun. <laughs> and um, let's do this. Oh, Northern Realms. Oh shit. Okay. Okay. I don't need two, or do I? Okay, I got one there. We got Ermion, but I don't need Ermion though, man. Oh, okay. hey, oh, you're kidding. Oh, you guys, you're kidding. Wait, wait, no, 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 this will work. This will work. Okay, that for this, because that's on the front line. This one with Ermion. All right, and give me a moment as well. Got down to line. How many front forward fighters do I have? I've got two. Um, uh, yeah, okay, we're going with this. I'm not sure about it, but we're going with this, guys. Ah, uh, great, my turn. Um, how do I want to do this? Okay, let's put this. I don't care if he scorches that. Uh, guys, that is a very basic bitch card. That is so basic. Okay, very weird. Um, anyway, let's transform him. So check it out, guys. He turns into a 14, and he's um, a morale boost. And that's fine. Good, good. I don't mind you scorching that. That's totally fine. Thanks a lot. You've done me a favor. So check it out, guys. He's now a transformed uh, bear. And <laughs> look, look at a number. Bloody awesome. Okay, and that's fine. Do I want to do this in this round, though? Okay, let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, guys, I swear to you, I've got Gwent on hard difficulty. I don't understand why this is happening. That's a bit weird. Anyway, let's do that. Again, I don't care if he scorches it. Okay, he's put eight, 17. Ah, uh, win, lose... Should I just lose? He's still got six cards. Guys, I'm gonna lose now. It's fine. Let him win. He might throw a spy on the board, which would suck, but. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Are you kidding me? <laughs> of course, of course. Um, right, okay, let's match. Oh, you, you're kidding, really? Okay, I'm going to scorch it. Um, and give me a moment, give me a moment. Okay, she's already used one. Sorry, she, he, he has already used one. Uh, let's do that. Oh, God, guys. He's being so stubborn. Wow, he really is trying to win this. Yeah, I've only got three cards left. There's so not much I can do about it. I don't believe... Guys, I don't believe this. This is ridiculous. Okay, fine. Let's just keep going. I, I haven't got a choice. Unbelievable. All right, I have no choice but to pass. He could win this, but um, I don't have a choice. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, thank you. He could have won that, I'm not going to lie. I think he um <laughs> felt a bit sorry for me. Okay, good. At least I got that. That's good. Um, One moment. Is there anything he can medic out of here? Yeah, these. Okay, here's what we do, guys. Uh, what about me? Oh, I don't have a medic, so it doesn't matter. It's a shame I couldn't get the bear. It's a shame, but it's okay. Alright, so... Shuffles all cards back to the graveyard. And it wastes time as well, so... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm nervous, guys. I've only got two cards. He could have a Scorch. He could have Billy. I don't know. Okay. Now, will this clinch the win? Will it Will it do it? Oh, God, I'm, I'm biting my nails. Impenetrable fog, really? Guys, we did it. Oh, hello, my friends. I am so sorry about that. I don't know if you saw... <laughs> well, uh, depending how I edit this together. But um, the footage got cut again because my internet cut out. Um, yeah, really pissed off, guys. Uh, sorry. Anyway, uh, let's not end on a sad note because, guys, wait, not that. Guys, you missed it. I won the game, so it's fine. But guess what I won? <laughs> right. In your Skellige deck, and where, yeah, good. I was going to say, where's the music? But in your Skellige deck, um, this is called Camby. Camby is a god tier Gwent card. Uh, I wish you could use it in any deck. Now, anyway, let me put it in my um, uh, my deck. Now, check it out. Uh, can we read about... No, 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 I want to read it. How do we do that? <laughs> Sorry, guys, give me a second. I want to look at it. R2 Zoom, I guess. Hey! All right, there we go. Right, when the time comes, the Cockerel can be shall crow and awaken Heimdall. Summon Avenger. Guys, when this card is removed from the battlefield, it summons a powerful new unit card to take its place. Guys, this, the card that it summons, okay, think of it like the cow card, but, but, the critical difference is, when, in the next round, it transforms, Heimdall is actually a hero card. That's worth 11 points. It's insane, guys. It's super powerful. Uh, this, look, I'm obviously, I may not draw it. <laughs> I may not get this in my deck or my hand or whatever. But um, this is one of the God's tier Skellige cards. I'm so happy we won it. So we won it off this dude. So we've done it, guys. Anyway, right. So <laughs> we completed the contract. I do apologize for all of the internet cutting out, etc. And before it cuts out again, <laughs> just want to say listen, thanks all for your support. Um, you know, I really appreciate it. You know, all the likes, comments, and you know, the the subscribers. I get really happy whenever I see even one subscriber. It's awesome. What the hell was that? Oh, <laughs> okay, that's nice. What's up here? So I really appreciate all your support, guys. You know, I'm a small channel. I'm trying to grow it if I can. And uh, I can't do that without you lot. So I really appreciate it. I'm doing this vi these videos for you guys. 
Um, but also check out Elden Ring if you haven't already. And check out my I Miss Playing uh, playlist as well. And uh, anyway, without further ado, thank you very much for joining me today. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you on the next part. Take care. Rolling on an empty stomach, oh, dreadful. Camelengo best not be late with my pay. Ah! Wasn't a fair fight. Didn't stand a chance. What's the meaning of that? Your choice. Let's dance. Come here. 